Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Reflect and Revive. Um, it's good to be back with you again, doing a devotional. I know they always encourage me when I listen to them daily, uh, different ones that are doing them. I just, um, it, it brings encouragement. So I pray that you always find encouragement here. But um, first of all, I just want to say, I know there's some that are sick and I want you to know we're praying for y'all for your healing and uh that god would bring it past as he can but um i know that um i don't know this year i just i felt that the lord was speaking to me about this is the year to praise the father i know we praise the lord in church we worship and all of that but i I'm talking about praising Him in the times when um, maybe you don't feel like it. Um, so I just want to reflect on that a little bit about what happens when we praise the Lord. Um, and I love I love the Book of Psalms because it has so many uh, verses in it of praise and probably more than any other book in the Bible. So I wanted to start with that, you know, reading the Psalms that I love. And it's Psalms 150. And it says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and flutes. Praise him with the loud cymbals. Praise him with the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we do. If there's breath in our body, we should be praising the Lord, right? And I know we enter into his sanctuary in our church and we, we worship and we praise, but I'm talking about, let it be an every day thing because he's worthy. He's worthy. If we have breath, we need to praise him when we rise in the morning. We need to praise him when we go to bed at night. You know, there's times we're not going to feel like it. But God is worthy of our praise. So as long as you draw a breath in every situation, praise him. Um, why do we praise the Lord? Simple. He's worthy. Because he is worthy. And that is good enough reason for me. That's good enough reason for me because he's worthy. So I want to go over some things that what happens when we praise him. So praise magnifies God. It does. It puts the focus on God and takes the focus off of our problems. It takes the focus off of our situation. It takes the focus off of um, horrible circumstances. So God's present presence, it transforms our thinking. So it, it magnifies him. It magnifies God. You can't be mad when you're praising the Lord. You can't. It's impossible. So we need to praise God because it magnifies him. It magnifies him. And praise, the next thing, praise humbles us. It humbles us. And we all could use a little humbling, can't we? Um, when we worship God, we gain the right view of ourselves. Um, if we worship God, I think on a regular basis, you know, just, I'm not saying that it has to be a ritual. That's not what I'm saying. But man, there, there's so much that you can think about of what we can praise the Lord and it always 
um, brings the right view of ourself. It will deflate our pride real fast and uh, we'll gain a, a healthy self-image of who we are in Christ. Um, and it's based on what he says. That's a healthy self-image. So praise humbles us. The next thing, praise reveals our devotion to God. Um, if I love Christ, and if you love Christ, you will praise him, right? Um, if God is first, and he's first in our life, we'll honor him. We'll honor him with worship and with thanksgiving. And then the next thing I'm going to look at is, and this is one of my, my favorites, because, you know, I know a lot of people are saying they have a, um, the, a word that they're looking for for the year, you know, that God gives you a word. And I, I've been praying about it, but I know like in, um, I think it was in October uh, of 2020, uh, the word joy just became something that was, uh, just became very real to me because um, I have to guard it. I was telling someone the other day that I, I really have to guard my joy because when you go through a tragic loss, you, you can lose joy real fast. So it has to be guarded and it has to be protected. And the only way that I know to do that is to worship and to praise the Lord. And when we praise Him, it increases our joy. So joy is going to be my word this year, joy. So joy is a constant companion of praise. Listen to that again. Joy is a constant companion of praise. When you're praising the Lord, you can't have sadness. You can't have, uh, you know, thinking of uh, uh, worry and fear. When you praise him, it increases the joy. And joy is a companion of praise. I love that. When we feel depressed or discouraged, praising God will soon bring joy into our spirits. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of times this past year that I've had to really guard my joy because you can sink sometimes. Not just with um, a loss of a loved one, but with things that you go through, things that some of you may be facing right now, if you're not careful, that joy can be taken from you. And when we've lost our joy, we've lost our strength. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. So guard your joy, guard it. And we can do that by constantly having praise upon our lips for our Savior and worshiping Him. There is another thing. Thing. Excuse me. <clears throat> Praise brings God into the scene. I love that. It brings God into the scene. Praise opens the gates of heaven and it opens the doors of blessings. Um, worry and fear cannot survive in, in an atmosphere of praise. It just can't. The worry and fear that we have today, you know, if we sit back, we can really worry. We can really worry about what's going on. But in the atmosphere of praise, it can't last. It can't stay there. It doesn't go together. Worry and fear and praise on our lips for the Lord doesn't go together. So it can't survive. So praise magnifies God's goodness. His goodness. And um, through it all, you know, through it all, God is still, he's still good. He's still good. So whatever you're facing today and whatever you face um, in this year, 2021, praise him. Praise him anyway. He's worthy. He's worthy of that praise. So whatever it is you may, you know, be going through, what if it's a loss of a job, praise him. If there's no money in the bank, praise him. Is your job driving you crazy? Praise Him. Have you been hurt by somebody? Praise Him. 
when the world has lost its mind, praise him. If, is there hurtful remarks maybe that's been spoken of you? Praise him. Have you had a, uh, your dreams stolen? Praise him. Are there disappointments in relationships? Praise him. <laughs> is there circumstances in life that is keeping you awake at night? Praise him. Are you facing something that is challenging to you? And you may be losing a lot of sleep over it. Praise him. Are there issues in your health? Praise him. Have you suffered a loss? Praise him. That everything that ha has breath, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If there's breath in your body, don't forget to praise him. Worship pulls down the glory of God. When we worship God, the Bible says that he inhabit, inhabits the praises of his people, or he sits enthroned on the praises of his people. What this means is that when you start to praise God, he comes down in the mist and he inhabits your praises. And God loves, he loves to be worshiped. In fact, that is one reason why we were created was to worship him. And I know there are times, you know, even what we're going through right now, we may not feel like praising the Lord. But he's worthy. He's so worthy to be praised. He's worthy. He has done so much for us. You know, I could have chosen to look at 2020 and reflect on what I had lost. But I choose to look at 2020 with joy and reflect on the goodness of God. The goodness, the goodness of God. He is good. He's good. And we can worship him in the midst of whatever we're facing right now, whatever you're going through. He is good. He's a good God, isn't he? What better way is there to start 2021 by choosing to raise your hallelujah in the midst of it all? Raise a hallelujah to him. So today, commit yourself. Commit yourself to a life of praise and fellowship with Jesus. I promise you, it makes a difference. It makes a difference when we worship him and we, we praise him daily, daily praise him. Praise him when you rise up. Praise him before you lay your head down at night. Praise him because it makes a difference and he's worthy. He is worthy. So I hope this encouraged you. Uh, I'm praying for everyone, and I pray that you just have a blessed day.